comparing a squared plus b squared equals c squared to decide if we have right triangles or if we have obtuse triangles or if we have acute triangles. And this is a quick little test. What you want to do is you want to take your two short sides, a and b, and compare them to c. If a squared plus b squared equals to the third or longest side, c squared, then we know we have a right triangle. But if you calculate a squared plus b squared and it's less than c squared, then we know we have an obtuse triangle. If a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, then we know we have an acute triangle. So what I always like to focus on is the c squared. If c squared is equal, it's right. If c squared is greater, then we have obtuse because remember, an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. And if c squared is less than the two, a squared plus b squared, we know we have an acute triangle. So we've got three practice problems down here to test. We have 21, 12, and 24. So the first thing you need to identify is which one is c. Well, c is always the longest, so that means c is 24. That means a and b are interchangeable, so I'll just make a 21 and b 12. So I'm going to take 21 squared plus 12 squared. And I'm going to compare that to um, 24 squared. I did as 21 squared plus 12 squared. Okay, how do those compare? Well, 21 squared plus 12 squared, and I'm just typing that straight into my calculator, that multiplies to 585. So I have 500 and 85 for my a squared plus b squared. Now let's take 24 and square it. So 24 hit my square button and I get 576. Now c is less than a squared plus b squared. So that means it falls into this category. That means it's an acute triangle. So number 12 this three sides of 21, 12, and 24 are an acute triangle. Okay, let's try the second one. We have 13, 31, and 17. Which one is C? Well, C is our 31, right? Because that's the longest side. So A and B are 13 and 17. So 13 squared plus 17 squared. How does that compare to 31 squared? Okay, 13 squared plus 17 squared plus 17 squared, and I get 458. So that's 458, and let's take 31 and let's square it. Ooh, 961, 961. So it's very obvious that C this time is greater than A squared plus B squared. Well, when C is greater than A squared plus B squared, we have an obtuse triangle. So for number 13, we know that the sides that are 13, 17, and 31 are an obtuse triangle. Okay, so let's look at this one. We have 10, 26, and 24. The longest side is 26, so that means 26 is C and A and B are the other two. So 10 squared plus 24 squared, how does that compare to 26 squared? Well, 10 squared plus 24 squared, that's 676, and 26 squared is 676. Now this time, C is equal to the sum of A squared plus B squared, so that means it is a right triangle. So the sides of, which is number what, 14? The sides of 10 and 24 and 26 are a right triangle. Okay.